Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizon Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in our name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is alive and not dead, and he's alive forevermore. And because of that, you and I amongst men are not most miserable, but we have joy, the presence of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And in his presence, there's joy. There's fullness of joy forevermore. So I thank God for you joining us as we get ready to go into prayer today. We're praying about the power of God. That's right. All month long, we're praying about the power of God. The Bible says all power belongs to God. And God gives us access to him. He gives us access to his presence. And God gives us access to his power. So today we're going to be lifting up a passage of scripture that is going to lead us in our prayer time. We're going to be praying from 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. Amen. Did you hear that? The message of the cross, verse 18 says, is foolishness to those who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. Amen. As we get ready to pray today, we're going to pray about three things. Number one, we want to pray and thank God for the preaching of the message of the cross. I want to pray and thank God for the preaching, the proclamation of the message of the cross. Secondly, we want to pray and thank God for the preachers of the message of the cross. We want to pray, thank God for the messengers of the message of the cross. Then thirdly and finally, we want to pray and thank God for the power of the message of the cross. That to those of us who are being saved, we know that the word of God is powerful. Amen. Amen. It's the very power of God. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We lift you up and magnify you today. Hallelujah, Lord. We glorify you today. Hallelujah. Lord. We, we, we extol you. We exalt you, Lord. We speak well of you. Lord, we just wanted to take a moment just to, to praise you, Lord, and to to thank you and to bless you for giving us this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Lord, we have so much to be thankful for. And first of all, Lord, we want to start by thanking you for the preaching of the message of Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection. Thank you for the preaching of the message of the cross. Lord, to those that are, that are perishing, Lord, it is, it is foolishness. For those that are headed toward destruction, Lord, it makes no sense. But to those of us who are saved and being saved, Lord, it is the power of God. So we thank you, first of all, Lord, for the preaching of the message of the cross. Lord, we thank you that that message has endured over 2,000 years of ridicule and, and scrutiny and criticism, Lord. But, but it is still the word of God. And it is still the truth that Jesus, you did die on that cross, that you were buried on in the tomb and that on the third day morning, Lord, you were raised from the dead and you are alive forevermore and you are seated at the right hand of the father and you will make your return, Lord, one day to realign us and reconnect us with you for all eternity. Thank you for the preaching of the message and thank you for the messengers of the message, Lord. We lift up pastors and preachers and teachers and, and, and parents and, and others who share the message of the cross with others. Lord, we thank you that there are still men and women who will not preach an, a compromised gospel, but they will preach one Lord, one faith and one baptism that they'll preach and teach that the truth of the cross of Christ and the power of his resurrection, that we might know him, in the fellowship of his suffering and in the power of his resurrection. Thank you for the preachers and the proclaimers of the good news of Jesus Christ. And then Lord, we thank you just for the power of the message of the cross. Lord, we don't understand it. 
Some people think it needs to be propped up with gimmicks and games and circus acts and high wire acts and all of these other things that we see in our social media and even in our churches, God. But we thank you that there's power in the good news of Jesus Christ, that the word doesn't need any props, doesn't need any gimmicks, doesn't need any games, that we can trust you at your word. Though it may be foolishness to those that are parent perishing and being those that are on their way to destruction. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So we thank you for power in the word. We thank you for the preachers of the word and we thank you for the word itself for it has the power to save our soul. Lord, we love you. We honor you and bless and praise your holy name. And we give you all glory and honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Again today. We read from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are being or who are headed for destruction. But we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. So God, thank God for his grace in our life today. Thank God for you joining us. I pray that you're being blessed by these daily devotionals. And if you are and have not subscribed to the channel, please do that. And if you've not shared the channel with somebody or if you have share the channel with someone or someone else so that they too can join us during this time of prayer. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.